All right, welcome back you guys. So I want to start off by showing you how to do your own oil change and maintenance on your 2019 uh, to 2022 or 2021 um, Ram 1500s. You're gonna first start off by getting a 13 inch uh, wrench. Reason why I say that is because you can have your ratchet, but if you look, you can't get it back there. So I'm gonna go ahead, loosen up your drain bolt, which I already went ahead and did. Now there's no real way to avoid it from smacking the sway bar. So you're just gonna go ahead and just loosen it all up and then go ahead and let it drain. And then you're gonna wanna get your oil filter uh, remover. And where is it at again? I gotta get it's gonna be right here, right near the CV axle. And again, we're gonna put this in a position to where you have no choice but to get oil all over here. So once I go ahead and let this drain right here, it doesn't look too bad. Go ahead and let this drain. Well, let the oil drain here and then get on the oil filter and let that drain. Now I work at Ford, so all of my stuff that I have here is gonna be motorcraft. So that's gonna be a, um, a FL 500. So once this drains, as I said, there's no real way of avoiding getting oil all over your sway bar. Not for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this completely drain out. That way I can replace it with complete full synthetic before. I didn't put full synthetic, but now I'm gonna go ahead and run full synthetic every time from here on out. For me personally, I feel like it's a better option just because I get it cheaper and I drive a pretty far distance to work every day. So I feel like it'll be a lot easier and a lot better on the motor itself. So once I get this done, I'll go ahead and um, and switch it back to removing the oil filter, show you guys that process, and then go back on top and um, change the, uh, or uh, start putting oil inside. All right, so like I said, now that I went ahead and let that drain, tighten up the drain bolt, I'm gonna come down here, loosen up your oil filter. It's in a really awkward position, but like I said, once you loosen it up, if you want, if you have a, a, a oil funnel, that way you can like try and avoid as much oil getting all over here, and that'll be awesome. Um, I don't have one right now, and I don't feel like making a box right now. I have a can of brake cleaner, so that'll be just as good and we're just gonna go ahead and have to bite the bullet and um and get oil everywhere to be honest with you guys it sucks but god that sucks to see <laughs> oh my gosh and yeah once you get that out go ahead and grab your new filter and then just go ahead and Grease up the ring. Believe me, I am going to clean all this up here when I get done. We want to go ahead and um, grease up the ring around here. The reason why you want to do that is so that way, once you put it back on, it's not going to be super tight to take it back off if you're doing your own maintenance. If you're going to the Ram dealership and you don't care, let them handle it. It's completely up to you. Or, well, that would be pointless for anybody watching this. But if you wanted to do it yourself, grease up the rings. Don't forget to grease up the rings. And don't forget to clean all this off just because it looks nicer. And um, I'm going to have to use probably half a can of brake cleaner all over this because I do not like this. I'm probably going to go up in the back as well and spray this down with the degreaser and uh, clean all that off. God. I'm sorry. You guys are probably annoyed with that. But, um, yeah, there's really no other way to do that. And, um, yeah go ahead and put the oil filter back on and then I'll catch you guys back on top. Now that we're back up top, it's gonna be a 520 oil cap. It was right inside here. I'm gonna go ahead and start topping the oil off right now. And um, I'll show you how to uh, reset your oil light once we uh, get all finished with this. Also, in case you guys didn't see another video that we had put out, this is our new cold, uh, quarter air intake, stage two AFE. This is the dry filter. Sounds amazing. Um, it was pretty easy uh, to install. I believe I made an install video on this as well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this oil and um, start um, putting oil in it. 
So once you get back inside, you start your vehicle up, start your truck up, you're gonna press the little buttons right here on the side. You should be on your vehicle info. I usually have mines on the TPMS, that way I can see the tire pressure light all the time. Well, the, the air in the tires, just keep scrolling over until you see oil life, press okay. And then it pops up that. And you just put it back in accessory mode. Hold OK. Oh, my bad. I'm supposed to put it in, I guess, the run position. Good thing I'm doing this now so you guys can see all the mistakes you may make. Come on. I'm leaving this all in the video as well. Hold okay. I'm not too sure how long you're supposed to hold it, but I'm gonna figure it out. Fingers on the button. Okay, I'm back to 100%. I had to just keep, I don't know why, maybe I was just messing up. You guys probably see what I did wrong, probably didn't see what I did wrong. I just put it back in the run position and then just, I think I probably had it over here on oil pressure. I guarantee I probably had it on oil pressure like an idiot, but oil life, okay, reset, cool, we're good to go. And that, you guys, is how you change your oil on your 2019 Ram Laramie. Let's see. I actually want to switch up how it looks a little bit inside here. Mm, set theme. Longhorn. Longhorn Brown. It has all these cool little... things on it that looks pretty good let's see about the rebel a little more right look and then longhorn black same and then limited just has it like that that looks pretty good i'll just keep it like that from now on uh, let's see the ram 1500 let's see how that looks pretty standard pretty basic Rebel. I might rock the Rebel for a little bit. Just because I like how the truck feels. It feels pretty good. I don't know. Might be a weird thing. <laughs> but I like it. Alright, you guys. With that being said, you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.